hello and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for liking commenting sharing and subscribing to the channel i really do appreciate it welcome to those of you new just tuning in this is going to be about what's going to take place sorry i'm moving this cord out of the way it's kind of in my way all right so um this is going to be about what's going to take place and i forgot to turn this on <laughs> I'm not, I'm not organized. Um, this is um, going to be what's going to take place within the next 24 to 72 hours. Now, it could be within your connection or just within general. We'll see what um, comes through. Okay. Um, since this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So uh, please keep that in mind. If you start to not understand the reading, then um, it's not making sense. It's, that means it's not your reading. Okay. Um, I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description of the video, as well as all the decks I'm using here today, all the items you see. Uh, my Instagram information um, is below, and um, the manifestation candles are, are below as well. I'm using the clarity candle for this reading. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and get the energies um, surrounding this reading, uh, you know, what needs to come through. Like I said, I'm just let uh, spirit bring what needs to come forward. And then we're just going to go from there. All right. So if you hear me refer to hear me say he or she when I'm talking to about divine masculine or divine feminine, I am still referring to just energies. OK, so you can be a divine masculine and be a male or female. Same with the feminine. OK. Um, I'm not gender specific in this uh, reading or all of my readings. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is the um, Oracle um, of Shadows and Light. I'm going to get um, three cards here for this energy. And we have number 32, Sea Storm, Calm Amid Chaos. All right. So this is... Um, this number 32 can be significant for some of you guys. It's also number five, which is about change. But there is some type of storm or chaos um, that, you know, maybe is surrounding uh, your life or your person um, life. And someone is just kind of remaining calm while everything is like kind of up in the, some type of chaos. OK, with the sea storm is what I'm getting here. So let's get another one. And then we have number 13. Um, this could also be significant for some of you guys. It also is four, so it could have to do with foundations. I am Kali. From death comes rebirth. Okay, so some type of ending is bringing some type of um, new beginning. I'm getting the energy of like the tower, some type of tower or breakthrough is coming through um, within um, your connection or, you know, around you. Uh, in your life, but something ending, but it's bringing a new beginning. Okay. Cause as it says from death comes rebirth. So, uh, into something old and something new is happening, but it has the energy of like the tower, like something major is coming through. Like it's not something little. All right. So let's go ahead and get one more card here. And then we have 38, another number that can be mean something to you guys. Um, this is also number 11, which is about spiritual alignment. Um, it could have to also do with like twin flame connections for some. So we have carnivorous flower fairy attempting offer has a high price. OK, so there's some kind of an energy where there is something that maybe somebody was um, tempted by um, maybe someone is paying the price or it's uh, when it comes to that something is ending in order for something new to begin um, i'm going to get a little bit more energy around this because um, with those energies i just want to make sure okay so number 38 oh i opened right to this i love when that happens so it says 
a message a tempting offer has a high price pay attention when this card shows up in a reading look carefully at someone or a situa situation around you her beauty tempts people in but the purpose of the flowers is to devour make it difficult to escape unharmed you may have been told such situations are wonderful agents of change and growth but the truth is that you do not need to learn this lesson again the plants okay so what i'm getting here is just from that little part then i'm gonna read the divination message is that within the next 24 hours um there could be some chaos maybe somebody that uh, was around you or around your person that causes a lot of trouble and chaos there's going to be an end to that type of behavior um, in order for something new to take place so however it applies in your situation so it says you may observe someone speaking cruelly about others sending out toxic energy yeah that's what i was picking up like a, a toxic uh, a karmic kind of energy um seeming to feel extremely entitled to money fame life force and attention but unable to create their own they treat themselves rather like royalty and as if others are servants whose purpose is to fulfill their wishes they can be charming and cunning because they don't want you to do something uh, i mean because they do want you to do something for them they spend much of their time trying to feed off others and if you deny them this they become very angry narcissistic they see you as a source for them a way of getting something this is sad but even sadder if you allow yourself to be their victim this indicate either a person or a workplace or belief system that is demanding all-consuming and almost cult-like in its practices and ethics whatever and what uh, um, whoever the carnivorous flower fairy represents it is a dangerous alliance to contemplate do not get too close observe and learn if you must do not become an experiment they will bite you they will try to take from you it is their very nature all right so i almost see this kind of like a warning in, in one aspect here so one aspect it's a warning to be aware of this type of person, um, somebody that might have like, you know, leached off of you. That's what I'm getting. Take advantage of you. Take, you know, take, take, take. But they don't really give. They could be very charming and don't fall for that energy for some that may encounter that is what I'm getting. And then also I'm picking up on the other energy, which was the first energy I got is someone is putting the end to that end of somebody that feel like, you know, they're entitled. This would be somebody that's, you know, very selfish, uh, maybe don't even work, maybe don't have a job, maybe expect everyone to do everything for them type of thing. Um, that is coming to an end. Someone is putting that to an end and someone is being really calm in this chaos that they're receiving because they're dealing with some person that is kind of like um, out of control in their behaviors, okay? And I feel like they play off of people's sympathy is what I'm getting, okay? So I, I'm just getting a lot of information from that. All right, so this is um, the main energy that this has to do with um, as well, uh, subject, who or what this has to do with, with this these energies. So um, this is a, a Akashic Tarot. This is a new deck that I got. So I'm just going to shuffle this around a couple more times because I can't remember how many times I did when I was talking. So this will be the main energy around this person or the situation that is coming to an end, but a new beginning is starting. Oh my God, you, 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 you just can't make, I'm telling you, you cannot. We have birth. Okay. Here say Bieth. So maybe that's how you say it. <laughs> now I sound like I'm being French or some Bieth. Bieth. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys ever watch, um, Boomerang because <laughs> that's what popped up in my head. Okay. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with a uh, playboy or that that might be that carnivorous flower fairy somebody that just takes you know and uses people okay um but she did have a job anyways back to my point is with this beef <laughs> it reminds me of when grace jones in there was like the after beef the after bit so i'm getting beef birth okay so just whatever i just needed to get that out it just came in and i needed to say it 
all right so these are my new cards so i'm definitely gonna have to um take a look and see what the meaning is but i'm gonna just take a look here to see what i'm picking up so i see two little children um here playing having fun there's a little dog here and there's loyalty it's almost like these two little kids are being they're playing like they're going back towards their son like this a new beginning okay there's a new beginning obviously with this birth energy but let's go ahead and see what it says in the um the book here all right so bf or birth <laughs> okay the sun shines upon a plain in england where stands an ancient hinge in the distance and a grove of birch trees nearby. Upon many of the trees is carved the old Celtic um, Oakham letter um, Beeth, which represents the birch tree and stands for birth. A beautiful woman walks forward carrying a basket while two children run happily toward her. With this card, it is time for a new start. Perhaps an actual birth or at least a metaphorical one. An old phase is passing away and a new one begins. But even this now, um, this new beginning uh, has, its, um, has its roots in your deepest histories and your past lives. Okay, so let's see, this has to do with somebody from your past life. Um, there may be some labor involved, but it's a labor that bears fruit. This card is associated with fertility, sensuality, and motherhood. There may be a new energy in a romance, the family, or the home. You could be giving birth to a creative project too, whatever it is. Celebrate, prepare for the wonderful growth and opportunities that are about to come. And then it says, Akashic uh, Force, close your eyes and imagine yourself stepping into the proverbial uh, uh, pregnant moment. Feel the creative forces popping and sparking with and around you. What would you like to create with this energy? So this is gonna mean different things to different people, okay? So this may be the fact of putting things old people, you know, to the, um, that were selfish or how it mentioned narcissistic behaviors only focused on themselves any of that that is being put to an end okay um and there's some calm um, you know amid uh, the chaos that's going on so you could actually you know be dealing with a person like this or someone that you are thinking about is dealing with a person like this some this could have to actually do with some type of birth um you know you, someone may be um you know uh finding out that they're pregnant or, or something around that um, energy. I feel like this is mostly about creativity though. We, have do, we do have two fours, because it, it can uh, surround a foundation. Um, it could have to do with children too. It could be an end of someone allowing um, children to be a factor when it comes to their way of thinking, because it, it says a tempting offer, and this, this person here, this carnivorous flower fairy, is someone that um, uses people um, for their gain. So this could be an end to that type of behavior and someone is maybe getting inspired to do this, okay? And then for others, I feel like uh, something painful, a painful ending or anything like that is inspiring uh, some to go towards whatever projects or things that they might want to work on. They're using this, this pain and this chaos that they've had to encounter in order to be inspired to do something new okay so i do feel for some there is children around here and some this could be about someone from your your past life um maybe uh, even returning so this is the wisdom of the oracle i'm going to get three cards here and see if there's um, these energies can be separate or they can be related to what's going on um just letting spirit you know do its thing all right so I'm going to get three cards. This, I think I said this is the wisdom of the oracle. Also let you guys know there will be an extended version um, to this reading. So if you want to join that, that link is also going to be below as well on me on 
Patreon. So we have by the book. Now this is about rules. This is about orders being in line. So this could be coming to an end or this is something that is a problem. So now we have two fours and two elevenths. Okay. So 11, 11, some of this is going to definitely um, involve around twin flame connections and others. This will be about spiritual alignment. Okay. So there's uh, three people in here this could be um a third factor this could be not doesn't have to be romance it could be a family uh influences and things of that nature so i'm seeing three elephants here and then i'm seeing three people there all right so let's get two more cards a fork in the road okay so someone is at a fork in the road Okay, a decision is needing to be made. And again, there's these three signs here. So there's some references. There's three choices. So someone may have three choices as well. Um, or, you know, three uh, options. Or this is involving um, a third party factor, like I mentioned. So, but someone is at the fork, fork in the road. Okay, we'll see what that is about. And we have higher power, okay? That is another number for a while, okay? So angelic presence for sure, um, was I'm, I'm picking up here. Someone might be helping, uh, the angels might be helping someone that is normally placed by the book um, to come to some type of decision uh, decision because they are at the fork in the road. We have higher power, this is spiritual help, this, this 5D um, uh, energy as well your conscience this could be about following intuition so let's go ahead and go further here this is a kipper duck so let's see why this by the book is here let's just buy the book imprisonment okay oh my gosh that's another number 11 there's three 11s so this is about coming into i feel even higher that it's more about coming into spiritual alignment especially with these fours um the assistance of the angels this is someone that is possibly been playing by the book and has been causing them to be in this jail in this prison okay mentally trapped feeling like they can't get out frustrated confined Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So I'll see more why this is here. All right, let's go ahead and break this down more. Why is this by the book in this imprisonment here? This is the uh, steampunk tarot. Queen of Swords. Okay, which is all mental. So Queen of Swords is someone um, that has gone through a lot, okay? She might even be divorced. Um, she's this way because of life experiences. This is someone that's sharp. This is somebody that, um, you know, can be very cutting with their words, cut off things that are, you know, no longer serving them. But she also wants clear communication. So this could be involving um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone that embodies these type of traits. So there's a hand there sticking out of this, um, her holding someone's hand, but she's got her hand on that sword, like she's ready to strike. So let's go ahead and see why she is here. Why is the Queen of Swords here with the by the book and the imprisonment? This is my situations deck. Um, this is available if you live in the United States on my site or my Etsy shop. But if you're international, interested in either of my decks, uh, please send me an email below and I will send you the link to order. So why is the Queen of Swords here? Negotiator. Bargaining, begging. Okay, so what I'm getting here from this energy is present. Either somebody is either putting it in to any kind of 
um, bargaining or begging when it comes to this connection or whoever they're dealing with. Um, they're cutting that off um, or um, the opposite. Okay, it's because it's just going to depend on this person's situation because they're ending and a new beginning. So I feel like it has to do more with someone cutting off this energy of negotiating, feeling, you know, feeling trapped to being in this mental prison. So this could be your, you or your person um, that you're thinking of, but someone is, you know, cutting out this um, energy of feeling trapped, feeling confined playing by the rules okay um negotiating maybe it's they're uh, negotiating here with this person they're used to doing that but i feel like this is no longer acceptable okay they're they're cutting out this normal fall in line type of situation that's been keeping them trapped in this prison they're cutting that out okay that's what i'm getting from there so let's go ahead and get the next part here what is this fork in the road? House. Okay, so this has to do surrounding a house, a foundation, something solid, a property. It could be a building. It could be someone you, you work with. I mean, where you work. Um, this also could, could have to do with real estate, um, it mentioned. But there's some kind of decision when it comes to some type of foundation and a house. Okay, we have number 20, which is two. So it could have to do with a partnership. That's also the number of judgment. So it could have to do with karmic energy. So let's go ahead and get some more here. Fork in the robe of this house. What is this house? The fool so this is about going in a new direction okay maybe someone is at a um they're at a this fork in the road whether to leave a house leave a foundation to go into a whole new direction because we do have ending and we have new beginning and the fool is all about going off into the unknown okay so this fool is kind of looking here at this energy leaving this behind maybe leaving behind this queen of swords maybe this is an energy they've been dealing with wanting to go in a whole new direction so what is the fool here for what is this new direction it's unknown the sleep of faith why is the fool here tragedy forbidden love so someone is at a decision here surrounding a foundation about going in a whole new direction and going towards something that they've been forbidden from, something that's uh, considered a tragedy or been a tragedy, a forbidden love. Um, I'm sensing leaving behind this Queen of Swords energy, someone that, you know, might have been super harsh, rules, because we have this by the buck by the book rules imprisonment doesn't negotiate and someone is at a fork in the road regarding leaving this house that they're in so some of you guys this is going to have to do with people that are involved with other people this queen of swords could be a love interest it could be a parent um anyone that's around them it could be male or female uh, doesn't matter but this is what they're thinking about going in this direction of something that's been that they they saw as forbidden or maybe other people saw as, as forbidden um, as well okay so this is what they're at a decision okay a fork in the road which doesn't mean they're going to make the decision but they're there and I feel like spirit is helping them to come to this decision where they need to put an end they're standing in the midst of chaos and crazy and just being calm. Maybe they're being calm because they're realizing they're going to go in a whole new direction. They're going to go away from this. 
maybe this person is causing a lot of chaos, this queen of swords, and this person is like finally seeing things how they are, okay? Maybe that's what it is for the situation. So let's go ahead and see why this um, higher power is here. Why is the higher power here? Courtship. Number, wow, another four. Oh my. Okay, fours are going to be numbers for you guys to look for within the next 24 to 72 hours. Um, these will be signs and symbols. This is angels. Angels may be sending you signs. This may have to do with your foundation um, as well. A lot of you, this has to do with love. Yeah. Okay, so courtship is about dating. It's about meeting also as well. Okay, so I feel there's a higher power involved here in this meeting in this dating whatever it is there's a higher power involved in this connection in your connection or in someone's connection that may be dating someone with this energy so let's go ahead and see more about the higher power in this courtship what is this courtship Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles is someone that's single, independent, good on their own, you know, successful, you know, ready to, you know, take things to the next level, but totally on path. This is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. You could be dealing with these signs. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that just is independent, single, doesn't need anyone else's, you know, money or assistance to help them. In tune with nature, practical in the way that they think. Okay. So this has to do with an independent or someone that is single. Maybe someone is assisting either this energy someone that's in this energy or they're helping someone to talk about becoming single okay so let's go ahead and see why this um nine of pentacles is here why is this nine of pentacles here with the higher power and the courtship roller coaster highest high adrenaline rush Okay, so I feel like for some of you, someone is at an impasse is what I'm hearing. Okay, I keep hearing that word and I'm, I'm just finally just saying it because <laughs> it, I've been trying to like not say it, but I keep hearing it. Um, roller coaster, highest high, adrenaline, adrenaline rush. This is assistance from a higher power. I'm getting also to... I'm sensing about a faded meet, meeting, like the divine is trying to intervene. Well, not try, they assist. They don't try, they assist. <laughs> I don't know why try came there, but assist in with some type of faded meeting um, around this courtship, around dating. Um, this highest high adrenaline rush is something that just makes you feel so high you can't get enough that type of feeling okay that rush that you get from you know just that that person you know that makes you feel that way you know the, the, the one this again this could be twin flame connection could be soulmate but the feeling is what i'm trying to um get here so i'm also um spirit is assisting here with this up and down situation you know winding here and there a courtship but i feel like it has to do with some type of trying to make a meeting come together that's what i'm getting okay so let's go ahead and see 
um, what's on the bottom of these cards before I take this over to the extended. And extended, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper to see about this Queen of Swords here. Okay. And this fork in the road to see a little bit more about what decisions um, is causing, you know, what are the choices they might be, the reason why they're at the fork in the road. And then what else is uh, Spirit doing to help in this um, connection? All right. So let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom here serendipity yeah see this is about that that high this is about luck and good fortune and things coming in being in tune with spirit as well um and you have 18 here so this number could be significant um i always see this as reaching higher like reach higher um so there is some energy about reaching higher to bring something i just feel like something somebody might be feeling like reaching out okay that they're that's what they're making a decision on because they're dealing with a lot of crazy chaos energy is what i'm getting okay so let's see what else is here all right so we have number 10 which is endings that bring new beginnings death and rebirth eclipse mermaid a powerful energy shift so there's going to be a powerful energy shift that's going to take place within the next 24 to 72 hours. I'm also getting pressure in my right ear. Privileged lady. Okay. Now this could be about this privileged lady. We have number 12 here. This number could be significant too. So we have 12. We have 13. Um, this is number three. This privileged lady, there could be a, a, a powerful energy shift regarding this privileged lady. This could be you. This could be a person your person is dealing with. Um, this can be a daughter. But this is somebody, um, you know, an aunt, sister, someone that is, you know, likes the finer things, um, is attractive, you know, keeps things together, likes things a certain way. Um, sometimes can be someone that's wealthy or privileged or they feel privileged. Okay. So I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with somebody that feels privileged, feels entitled because that's what it mentioned in that card. Someone feeling entitled, you know, laying down the laws, causing someone to be feeling mentally, uh, you know, in this imprisoned energy, there's a powerful energy shift taking place luck is on your side is what i'm getting here with this and i feel like it has to do with the most of you who that person is that carnivorous uh flower fairy yeah see entrapment pregnancy money heart strength so this again there's references to pregnancy again this is probably going to be just for a few of you something around a pregnancy maybe somebody was using a pregnancy maybe someone lied about a pregnancy but i feel like a pregnancy is an issue for at least a small few of you okay and then others it's about an ending and a new beginning um, but we do have some entrapment issues here pregnancy money heartstrings i believe has to do with this carnivorous flower fairy which also is this privileged lady okay for someone that's been uh, entrapment that someone is putting an end to. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles is working hard, working overtime on this energy. So I feel like whoever has been putting the effort into this energy, this entrapment, this privileged lady, that stuff is changing, okay, because of this powerful energy shift. So let me get one more card from this Akashic Records here. And then we have here the scribe, which I know it has to do with messages, notes, anything that's written. Again, we have another 12 here. 12 is here twice. Fours are here. 11 is what I remember so far. Okay. Yeah, okay, and I think nines. There's two nines. So those are numbers to look for, but it's mostly the fours and um, elevens. So describe, I'm just going to look at this picture a little bit more to see if I see 
anything. So I see a person here, they look like they're at an altar, okay? Or, you know, it could be like a, a, a judge kind of been, a thing too as well, but some type of pedestal. And then there's three people writing down information here. So something is being written and there's messages on the floor. I'm almost getting to with this that somebody had been trying to communicate something. Maybe they've been trying to send out messages, but someone's been cutting it off. Someone's been intercepting. Could be that Queen of Swords energy. Okay. But there's some messages here that are being written that needs to be sent out. So let's go ahead and see what this is about before I um, go over to the extended. Number 12. Okay, the scribe. The learned scribe writes at a high desk. Nearby are a number of other working scribes. In some ancient societies, scribes were simply copiers of holy texts. But in many, they were the most learned men of their time. People well versed in law, scripture, philosophy, history, and more. This card indicates a great upsweet in mind and study for you. If there is any subject with which you like to acquaint or reacquaint yourself, do so. It's not just for the sake of study, although that's always a good thing. The period of higher mind and higher learning is nothing less than a cha change your life or even change the world opportunity. Just as the Wright brothers began by studying the flight patterns of birds, you can rise up on the wings of discovery now. There may be a teacher or even an entire school that can help you with this upliftment. Be sure to seek out the right person or place of learning. You could also become a writer or teacher yourself at this time, elevating and contributing to others. If you are involved in any legal matters, there is a person who can help you with this. Let your great vision guide you to him or her. This also could be a time when you might find yourself writing proposals, grants, essays, blogs, articles, or books. Notice what compels you and be sure to answer the call. See, there's some um, reference to making a call. Somebody might be making a decision about making a call. Also, some could be involved in a legal matter about making a decision to leave behind uh, uh, in, you know, one person to go towards something else completely different. Um, it says, think of an interest that you would like to pursue with a deep breath, feel your desire to make this discovery or expand it further. Find a book today that helps you open this door to, um, tomorrow. All right. So this is about, this message is also about learning. So some of you could be learning as well. But I feel this has to do with someone. The main energy is about some type of legal matter documents. And what I'm getting to from this is someone may have tried this before, but they didn't go through with it. But now they're thinking about going through with it. OK, so if that makes sense uh, for some of you guys there. OK, so um, I'm going to take this over to the extended now. So um, if this resonated with you, please like, comment, um, um, share, and if you're new, subscribe. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you very much. So you guys have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.